I just want to find, find a job at that time. I'm looking for a lot of jobs, all filled. People don't want, a, don't want me. They say, I know, even looking for a job in a hotel, they say, hey, you're not good looking enough. <laughs> um, so I uh, discovered the internet in Seattle, 1994 in, the, in December. This does not belong to us. And why we succeed? Because we support the young people, we support the small, medium-sized companies. We support the women. And because of supporting these people, they does succeed. So we believe, how can we last our success? We believe we should support the more young people. We should support the more SMEs. We should support the more women. If they are successful, we will be successful. If there is a book I want to write, it's Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. We came today to now. We made so many mistakes. People say, you are lucky. Yes, we are very lucky. We've been only 19 years to, to today's size. But we've gone through so many tough situations. We made so many mistakes that people cannot Im imagine probably 90 years, just like Israel. For 70 years, your country grew from nothing to today. You have gone through so many tough experiences, and that will make you different. When I look back, I could never have imagined that I would become a teacher, let alone that this experience would prepare me for the world of business. Before discovering my passion for entrepreneurship, I spent five years teaching English at Hangzhou Teachers College, an experience that changed my life forever. At first, being a teacher wasn't something I was looking forward to, but it was exactly this experience that gave me the skills I needed to lead. The role of educator taught me to listen, understand, and guide people, skills that I would later apply to building Alibaba. However, the journey was not easy. In my youth, I was rejected from several universities, including Harvard, where I was turned down 10 times. Even so, I never gave up on learning and teaching. Despite entering a modest institution, Hangzhou Teachers College, I learned that education is not just about where you study, but about the impact you are able to generate. During those years as a teacher, I was voted by my students as the best teacher in the university. Little did I know that this path through education would be the basis for creating one of the largest companies in the world. When we started the business, we had 18 founders, including me, 17 of them, uh, most of them my students, and most of them, uh, well today people think these 18 people, the, the smartest people uh, in China. We don't think we are smart. Honestly, we all graduate from the very poor schools. Um, the only thing we did was that we are very united. We all believe the future. We are all optimistic. And we learn through mistakes. We never give up. Don't be Jack of second. It's tough. Because I know it's, I'm not me. Um, I don't want my kids, unless they want to, right? I think I would tell them. It's very lonely. You have to have a strong will. Normally, if you want to be a leader, leadership, leaders means loneliness. Leaders means responsibility. If you're responsible for one person, you are yourself. If you are responsible for 8 million people, you are Prime Minister of Israel. If you are responsible for 1.4 billion people, you are President of Xi Jinping. So, it's about responsibility. Not everybody would love to do that. And it's okay, but this is what I give my children. I want them to be happy and healthy. The connection between being a teacher and a business leader is simple. Both require patience, empathy, and the ability to inspire. In every class I taught, I learned the importance of listening, of shaping minds, and this later prepared me to lead teams, strategize, and never lose sight of the vision I had for Alibaba. Who knew that the same principles I used in the classroom would guide me in the business world? Perhaps that's one of life's great ironies. 
what seems like a detour can actually be the right path. Right. Failure has always been part of my story. Since I was a teenager, I've been faced with a series of setbacks, especially in education. I tried for three years to get into university and repeatedly failed my exams. This taught me a valuable lesson. Failure is not the end. It's just the beginning of learning. Each time I fell, I got up stronger and with more determination. Failure is actually a stepping stone, not an obstacle. With each no I received, I was closer to success because each mistake brought me closer to understanding how things really work. These failures didn't stop at education. I looked for several jobs and was rejected in all of them. Even a simple job in a hotel was turned down because, according to them, I wasn't pretty enough. This rejection could have discouraged me, but instead it gave me the strength to carry on. It was during this period of uncertainty that I discovered the internet in 1994 on a trip to Seattle. This discovery changed my life forever, showing me that where many saw barriers, I could see opportunities. Failure doesn't define who you are, but how you react to it. I could have given up at any time, but I kept going. The truth is that you don't need a degree from a renowned university or to be accepted by others to achieve success. What matters is persistence and the ability to learn from mistakes. For me, failure was a kind of teacher, teaching me lessons that no book ever could, and those lessons were fundamental to building Alibaba. It's about a system. It's about a people, valley, mission, and people training. That's the best. And then year 2002, and three, four, I spent a lot of time training our people with the valley, mission, and professionalism. And then we got more managers, more leaders than most of the other startups that we started to do better. It's not about business model. Later, it's about create values for the others. And that, that is very good advice for me. And we made Alibaba different, even to today. We are still so much mission driven, value driven. And I believe we want to last 102 years. We were born 1999, last century we had one year. We want to go through 100 years this century, plus one year, 102 cross three centuries. So. In order to survive, we have to be mission-driven, value-driven, and people-driven. Today we do e-commerce. Tomorrow may not. The day of tomorrow, we don't know what we do. But if we're mission, value-driven, if we believe young people, if we want to support the other people to be more successful, there is always business model. There is always money to make. That's what we believe. In 1995, during a trip to Seattle, something unexpected happened. I had my first contact with the internet. Until then, I had never seen a computer in my life. It was a moment of fascination, something that completely changed my perception of the future. My friend asked me to look something up online, and I decided to search for beer. To my surprise, there was a lot of information about American beers, but nothing about Chinese beers. At that moment, I realized the immense potential of the internet to connect China to the world, an opportunity that no one else was seeing. The truth is that opportunity doesn't always appear in the way we imagine. I didn't know how big the internet would become. I didn't even imagine that it would lead to the birth of Alibaba. All I knew was that there was a gap an empty space where China wasn't represented online. And I wanted to fill that space. Sometimes the best ideas come from the most unexpected moments when no one else is looking in the same direction as you. The key is knowing how to recognize these opportunities when they appear. What makes innovation so powerful is the ability to see what others can't yet see. 
When I looked at the internet, I saw a tool that could change the world. And that's exactly what happened. From that moment on, my life changed. I knew I needed to bring this new technology to China and that it would create a wave of transformation that would touch millions of lives. The opportunity was born out of simple research, but the impact was immeasurable. When I started Alibaba, it was just a small idea in an emerging market. I had no idea that one day we would become a global e-commerce giant. However, there was one thing I always kept in mind, the need to constantly innovate. What starts small can grow into something big, but that only happens when we are willing to step out of our comfort zone and think outside the box. Innovation is the engine of growth, and without it, success is only temporary. Alibaba's history is a clear reflection of this belief. Over the years, we have faced enormous challenges, from competing with giants like eBay to the difficulties of infrastructure in China. However, constant innovation has kept us at the forefront. Whenever we faced a problem, our first question was, how can we do this differently? Innovation isn't just about technology, it's about changing your mindset, seeing opportunities where others only see difficulties. The secret is not to get complacent. One of the biggest mistakes I see in successful companies is that they get complacent. They reach a certain level of comfort and stop reinventing themselves. At Alibaba, we never allow that. If something is working, great, but we can always do better. Innovation is a marathon, not a 100 meter race. It's not just about being first, it's about continuing to innovate so that you're never left behind. And that's a lesson that applies not just to business, but to life as well. As a former teacher, one of the things I value most is education. Not just formal education, but the kind of learning that shapes creative, bold, and empathetic minds. I believe that the current education system is outdated. During my years as a teacher, I realize that students are often trained in memorization rather than problem solving. This needs to change. If we want to train future innovators, we need to teach people to think critically and adapt to the constant changes in the world. However, I firmly believe that education goes beyond books. During my time at Hangzhou Teachers College, despite my initial doubts, I learned that real impact comes from teaching skills that people can use to transform their lives. At Alibaba, we apply this by empowering small business owners with the tools and knowledge to grow. Education is a foundation for both personal and professional development. Without it, sustainable growth is impossible. But here's the question. What should education actually teach? It's not just about technical knowledge. We need to teach creativity, empathy, and practical wisdom. These are the pillars that differentiate great leaders and entrepreneurs. The schools of the future need to prepare people for a rapidly evolving world, where the ability to learn continuously will be any individual's greatest asset. And if we can transform education... When we founded Alibaba, our goal was clear, to help small businesses grow. I always knew that if we could support small businesses, the impact would be immense. Small businesses have the power to transform entire economies. In China, where many of these companies were being left behind, we saw a unique opportunity to create a platform that would enable them to compete on a global stage. And that's exactly what we've done. The key to success for these small businesses lies in offering them the right tools. When we started, most Chinese entrepreneurs didn't have access to the internet, let alone e-commerce tools. We realized that by providing this access, we were opening doors that previously seemed unreachable. Small businesses have the agility and flexibility that large corporations often lack. And it is this adaptability that makes them such a powerful force for economic growth. Today, Alibaba is more than an e-commerce company. 
We are a platform that empowers millions of small business owners to become their own bosses and reach global markets. Most importantly, their success is our success. We believe that by helping small businesses, we are not only transforming lives, but also creating a more inclusive and sustainable economy. When you empower small businesses, the impact is gigantic and long-lasting. If there's one thing I've always believed in, it's the power of youth. Young people have the energy and open-mindedness to transform the future in ways that my generation could never have imagined. When I look at the potential of young people, I see visionaries, people who have not yet been corrupted by the idea that things should be done a certain way. That's why at Alibaba, we've always placed a huge emphasis on giving young people the space to grow, experiment, and yes, fail. After all, failure is just one step on the road to success. Throughout my journey, I have believed that young people have a unique combination of dreams and vision. Entrepreneurs shouldn't just work hard, they need to have a clear vision of what they want to build. Entrepreneurs must have vision plus dreams, as I often say. This means that by empowering young people, we are not only creating a better future for them, but for the world. The future belongs to those who dare to dream big, and young people are the boldest of all. And why wait? If not now, when? If not me, who? I've always encouraged young people to take the initiative. The world won't wait for them, and opportunities won't appear if they stand still. The time to act is now, and the role of my generation is to provide the necessary tools and support so that young people can turn their ideas into reality. If we give them the right resources, the sky is the limit for what they can achieve. And uh, I love to paint. Yeah, I love to paint, but uh, I'm, I'm not traditional painting. I think if Picasso can do it that way, why should I? Could I do it that way? <laughs> but I painted and I got criticized by a lot of artists in China. They say, you are destroy our art. <laughs> um, there, are, there are three Jack Ma's, I think. The first Jack Ma is people's imagination. You think he's great? He's bad? I think Jack Ma is not great, he's not bad, he's not smart, he's a normal. The day when I told my 17 founders in my apartment, I said, if Jack Ma and his team can be successful, 70 or 80% of young people in China can be successful. We're not smart, we don't have money, we don't have technology, we don't have anything. The only thing is that we work together for future. So we said, if we succeed, 80% of young people in the world they can be successful. That was who we are. So people say, Jack, this is the, that your imagination. That is not me. So when I look at people say, hey, Jack Ma, people criticize him. I'm happy. People criticize him. That's not me. People <laughs> praise him as, you know, that's not me. I know very well this is not me. The second C Jack Ma is the CEO chairman of Alibaba. That's a tough job because all the easy, good things my team finished, and tough job. The things that came to me, normally not easy. You have to be, you know, you have to be a CEO-like. This is not me, it's my job. It's me, it's my personal. I'm a straight boy, like any boys, in a poor family. My, my, I'm a very, I came from a very poor family. Poor education, I love to make friends. I love to have fun, so I want to be back to myself. This is what I, I do anything, a lot of things that any boy want to do, I want to do. And I want to enjoy a lot of life, but this is why I want to retire early, I can go back to myself. Because this is not me, this is my job. And the real Jack is something that I always want to come out. And, um, yeah, every year I want to see, I want to do something new.
Thank you. In entrepreneurship, fear of failure is one of the most common barriers. Many people fail to move forward because they are afraid of making mistakes. But in fact, failure is part of the process. I always say, when you're poor, if you have a dream, you never feel poor. What really matters is the ambition to do something meaningful. Failure is not the end, but the beginning of a new opportunity. Every time I failed, I got up stronger because I knew that every mistake brought me closer to success. I remember the early days at Alibaba when we were like a blind man riding on the back of a blind tiger. Everything was uncertain and we were navigating uncharted territory. However, I believed that it was in this unstable terrain that the greatest opportunities lay. Failure was not something to be feared, but a learning tool. If you never fail, how will you learn what it takes to achieve success? The courage to try, even in the face of the possibility of failure, is what really drives us forward. The greatest entrepreneurs are not those who never make a mistake, but those who have the resilience to keep going, regardless of the challenges. If you're afraid of failure, remember, if everything is ready, it's already too late. Failure is just part of the process, and it is precisely this willingness to make mistakes and learn that defines true innovators. Working without passion is like walking aimlessly. If you don't love what you do, it will be very difficult to maintain the energy needed to overcome the daily challenges. From the beginning of Alibaba, I always made sure that there was a clear purpose in every action we took. Purpose gives meaning to hard work, and passion is what keeps us focused on difficult days. Real success only comes when you work with something you truly believe in, something that transcends simple financial gain. I like to use the metaphor, if you want to catch the rabbit, don't change the rabbit, change yourself. This means that the real secret of success lies not in external circumstances, but in how you adapt and continue to pursue your goals. When you are passionate about what you do, this adaptation becomes natural, almost inevitable. Passion for your work is what gives you the resilience to face obstacles and keep moving forward, no matter what. Purpose is also essential. At Alibaba, our purpose has always been clear, to empower small businesses and create a positive impact on the world. When you find a purpose greater than yourself, everything changes. Success stops being about individual achievements and becomes about the impact you can generate. What drives us, what gives us energy, is knowing that we are building something that will last far beyond our own lives. That's the real power of working with passion and purpose. And technology is shaping the future faster than we can keep up. However, I firmly believe that at the heart of it all, what makes us human is our creativity and empathy. Technology should be used to amplify these qualities, not replace them. When we founded Alibaba, we weren't just building an e-commerce company. We were creating a platform that would allow other companies to use technology to grow. As I often say, we're not an e-commerce company. We enable other companies to do e-commerce. That's the real impact of technology. Technological innovation must be constant, but with a clear purpose. I always repeat to the team, if everything is ready, it's too late. In the technological world, timing is crucial. Technology needs to be a force for transformation, and companies that want to thrive need to embrace change before it's too late. The future belongs to those who are quick to innovate, but who also understand that technology must serve people, not the other way around. As we move towards an increasingly digital future, we have to remember that the real power behind technology is our ability to use it to improve lives.
The focus is not just on creating the most advanced tools, but on ensuring that these tools are accessible to everyone. What technology does best is connect, empower, and transform. And if used in the right way, it can be the key to solving some of the biggest global challenges we face. From the start, I knew that Alibaba wasn't going to be just another company for me. The goal was always to create something that could impact millions of people around the world. When you build something that is bigger than yourself, success comes naturally. The true legacy of an entrepreneur is not just in their personal achievements, but in the positive impact their creations have on society. I firmly believe that by focusing on a greater purpose, we can achieve results we never imagined possible. Building a company with a long-term vision is like paving a path that crosses generations. We want this company to last 102 years, I often repeat. Alibaba was founded in 1999, and our mission is to cross three centuries, leaving a lasting impact. This longevity can only be achieved when the goal goes beyond profit and aligns with creating value for millions of people. When your work is driven by something bigger, it becomes more than just a profession, it becomes a legacy. Creating something bigger than yourself requires a clear vision, discipline, and the willingness to face challenges without losing sight of the end goal. It's easy to get sidetracked when difficulties arise, but when you're committed to a cause that transcends your personal interests, your focus remains firm. This applies to both business and life. If we want to leave a lasting impact, we need to think about how our actions can influence generations to come and create something that will continue to thrive far beyond our time. In the business world, it's easy to underestimate the power of the team. But throughout my career, I've learned that nobody achieves anything alone. At Alibaba, our priority has always been to value every team member because they are the heart of the company. Without a dedicated and engaged team, even the best ideas don't get off the ground. True success comes when everyone works together with a common vision and a clear purpose. When you take good care of your team, they take good care of your company. Creating a strong organizational culture depends on putting people first. This means giving them room to grow, learn, and even fail. When people feel that their ideas and efforts are valued, they dedicate themselves more passionately. I always say a leader needs to be willing to listen to and understand their team because they are the ones on the front line and know the challenges and opportunities better than anyone. It's the sense of collaboration that makes a company really strong. Looking at Alibaba's success today is actually looking at the dedication and collective effort of thousands of people. A company's strength lies in its people, and valuing them is the key to continuous growth. When people feel valued and supported, they dedicate themselves more enthusiastically and this is directly reflected in the company's success. A strong team is the greatest asset any company can have, and it is essential to invest in people to ensure a prosperous future. At Alibaba, we have always believed in the power of talent regardless of gender. Women play a key role in our company, representing a significant part of our workforce and holding leadership positions. I'm always asked why we have so many women in important positions, and my answer is simple. They bring a unique perspective and are essential to the success of any company. In fact, I believe that the 21st century will be defined by women and their contributions to the business world. Over the years, I've observed that women have an extraordinary ability to balance strategic thinking with empathy which is crucial for leading teams and creating innovative solutions. At Alibaba, for example, more than 50% of our employees are women, 
and they occupy around 33% of leadership positions. This was not a deliberate decision, but the natural result of a corporate culture that values competence and commitment regardless of gender. When you empower women, you are empowering the future. Empowering women in entrepreneurship is not just a question of fairness, but a smart strategy for success. Women bring skills and vision that often go unnoticed in male-dominated environments. They are great problem solvers and have a natural instinct for teamwork. At Alibaba, we've seen this happen time and time again, which is why we continue to promote inclusion and diversity at all levels of the company. The future of business will be shaped by women, and we're proud to be part of that change. When we started Alibaba, no one believed in us. It seemed impossible that a small startup in China could compete on a global stage. I remember all the times we were told that we were dreaming too big, that e-commerce in China would never become big. But I've always believed in the impossible. And the truth is, if you have a clear vision and work hard, the impossible can become reality. It's not just about ambition. It's about believing with conviction that you can create something bigger than yourself. The journey to turn Alibaba into one of the biggest companies in the world was full of challenges. It was like a blind man riding on the back of a blind tiger. We didn't know what the future held and the risks often seemed enormous. But it was this belief in the impossible that kept us going. I always knew that if we didn't give up, we could achieve what others thought was unattainable. The key is to never let other people's doubts define your path. Believe in the impossible and make it your fuel. The greatest innovations, the breakthroughs that change the world come about when people dare to dream beyond what seems possible. If I had listened to those who said that Alibaba wouldn't work, we would never have gotten to where we are today. The impossible only remains impossible until someone makes it a reality. And who says that someone can't be you? Throughout my career, I have learned a fundamental lesson. Where people see problems and complain, there are opportunities. Many of the greatest innovations and ventures arise precisely from the need to solve issues that affect people's lives. At the beginning of Alibaba, we realized that there was a huge complaint from small companies that they couldn't access the global market. It was from this dissatisfaction that we saw a great opportunity to build a platform that would connect these companies to the world. It's interesting to see how complaints often point directly to the biggest gaps in the market. Complaints are actually clear signs of where value can be created. When people care, I'm happy. It sounds strange, but it's in those moments of tension and dissatisfaction that the best ideas appear. That's how we built Alibaba, by listening to the problems of small businesses and developing solutions that would solve those challenges efficiently. That's why I always encourage entrepreneurs to listen carefully to the complaints and frustrations around them. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, they should be seen as guides to new opportunities. Solving a significant problem can be the key to building something great. Where others see difficulty, you can see a chance to innovate and create value. The best opportunities are often hidden in complaints. If there's one thing I've never allowed myself to do, it's give up. Throughout my career, I've faced countless failures and setbacks. I've been rejected for jobs, failed exams, and even when we started Alibaba, the road wasn't easy. But one thing has always kept me going, persistence. I believe that if you keep trying, sooner or later you'll find your way to success. It may not be immediate, but the real key is not to give up, even when everything seems impossible. When people around me worried about the challenges ahead, I was happy. Yes, when people worry, I'm happy. 
Worries often indicate opportunities because the most difficult times bring chances for those who can see beyond the problems. In Alibaba's history, we have faced powerful competitors, a lack of infrastructure, and countless barriers. But instead of giving in to worry, we saw these difficulties as clear signs that we were on the right track. Persistence in times of crisis is what kept us going. Persistence is not just keeping trying, but also learning from mistakes and adjusting course when necessary. I always say that failure is just a stepping stone on the road to success. The sooner you accept this, the better prepared you will be to face challenges. Persistence is a mindset that turns worries into opportunities, and that's what makes all the difference in the end. Those who don't give up are the ones who manage to turn their ideas into reality. Throughout my journey, one of the most valuable things I've learned is the power of observing and learning from the people around me. I always knew that I wasn't the smartest or the most talented, but the key to my success was my incessant curiosity and willingness to learn from others. There is inestimable value in absorbing the lessons of those who have been down similar paths and face similar challenges. I have always watched carefully and taken note of other people's experiences, especially those with more experience than me. At Alibaba, we promote a culture of constant learning. I encourage my team to seek knowledge and never stop learning. The market is constantly evolving and those who don't adapt and aren't willing to learn from change are left behind. Learning from others means not only recognizing your own blind spots, but also understanding that you can evolve by listening to different perspectives and ideas. Continuous learning is the basis for personal and professional success. The humility to admit that you don't know everything is essential. I have always believed that great leaders are, above all, great learners. At the start of my career, I didn't hesitate to ask for advice and to observe the mistakes and successes of those who came before me. That's how we grow and improve. Being willing to learn from others not only makes us better professionals, but also better human beings. Learning should never stop, regardless of how successful you become. When you achieve success, it brings with it a great responsibility to give back to society. At Alibaba, I've always believed that businesses don't exist just to make a profit, but to make a difference in the world. When we achieve a certain level of success, it becomes our obligation to use this position of privilege to improve the lives of the people around us. This is the true essence of business social responsibility, understanding that the positive impact you can generate is just as important as the financial results. Looking at Alibaba today, our mission goes far beyond e-commerce. We are focused on empowering small businesses, but also on supporting causes that benefit society more broadly. Companies have the power to influence significant change, whether by creating jobs, promoting education, or leading sustainability initiatives. We cannot ignore the role we play in building a fairer and more inclusive future. When we help people, business naturally thrives. That's why I always say that success shouldn't just be measured by what you build, but by how you contribute to the world. Business has the unique ability to transform lives, and that is something we should never underestimate. Business social responsibility is a long-term commitment that transcends profit and seeks to create a lasting impact. When we give back, we create a cycle of benefits that goes far beyond what any financial statement can show. In the business world, people have a tendency to complicate things. They believe that the more complex the process, the greater the value generated. However, throughout my career, I have learned that the best solutions are always the simplest. True power lies in simplicity. When we founded Alibaba, we knew that if we overcomplicated our operations, we would be doomed to failure. Our mission has always been to simplify e-commerce, 
making it accessible to everyone, especially small businesses. Simplicity, however, does not mean lack of depth. It's about clarity of purpose and efficient execution. When you keep things simple, you allow your team and your customers to focus on what really matters. That's why at Alibaba, we always ask ourselves, how can we make this easier for everyone? It is with this mindset that we have managed to grow and gain the trust of millions of people around the world. The simpler the process, the more powerful the execution. Simplicity is also the key to innovation. Innovative ideas often arise from finding simple solutions to complex problems. By eliminating excess complication, we open up space for new ideas to flourish. In the end, people value what makes their lives easier. Simplicity isn't just a strategy, it's a philosophy that should guide every aspect of a business. When you find simplicity, you find the true path to success. If there's one thing I can say with conviction, it's that you should never stop dreaming. No matter how many challenges we face or how many failures we encounter along the way, dreaming big is the first step towards achieving the impossible. At the beginning of my career, many people told me that my dreams were unrealistic, that Alibaba would never become what it is today. However, I have always believed that if you have a clear vision and work with passion, you can achieve anything. Dreams are what drive us forward. Over the years, I've discovered that those who never stop dreaming are the ones who are most able to innovate and transform the world around them. Dreams have the power to get us through the toughest times because they give us a reason to keep going even when everything seems to be against us. I always say that when you are poor but have a dream, you never feel poor. The dream is what keeps the flame burning, what motivates us to persist and fight for a better future. But it's important to remember that if everything is ready, it's already too late. Opportunities arise in the process of trying and learning from mistakes. Waiting for everything to be perfect can mean you miss out on the chance to make your dreams come true. Dreaming big isn't enough. You have to act, even if the conditions aren't ideal. Every day you have to work hard to turn your dreams into reality. If you never stop dreaming and act with courage, you will always be one step closer to achieving the impossible. Have you ever wondered what the real secret of success is? Is it all down to luck? Or is there something deeper, something that differentiates those who reach the top from those who give up along the way? In the business world, few stories are as inspiring as that of Jack Ma, co-founder of Alibaba, who began his journey as a teacher and turned his vision into one of the world's biggest companies. Throughout his career, Jack Ma has faced failures that could have destroyed his ambitions. He was rejected by jobs, universities, and even the market itself, but that didn't stop him. What kept Jack Ma going was a combination of vision, persistence, and an unshakable belief that the impossible can come true. If you're looking for inspiration, feel discouraged by the obstacles in your life, or want to understand how to turn challenges into opportunities, then let's now delve a little deeper into the key insights brought by Jack Ma. We'll talk about how to identify opportunities where others see problems and how passion and purpose are the engines of true success. Get ready to dive deep into life lessons that will transform the way you think and act. One of the most inspiring aspects of Jack Ma's trajectory is his resilience in the face of so many rejections at the start of his career. After graduating, he faced a series of rejections for various job opportunities. One notable story he shares is when he was rejected by a hotel simply because he wasn't considered pretty enough for the job. This kind of rejection, although it may seem trivial, is a harsh reality for many, and Jack Ma knew how to turn this adversity into fuel for his determination. The rejection, which could have broken his confidence, was the first step in building the mental resilience that would guide him on his journey. While looking for a job, Jack Ma was exposed to something that would change his life forever, the internet. In 1994, during a visit to Seattle, he had his first contact with a computer and the vast World Wide Web. 
It was a transformative discovery that led him to believe in the potential of the internet as a powerful tool for personal development and self-improvement. At that stage, he realized that instead of just looking for a traditional job, he could be at the forefront of a technological revolution that would change the world. The discovery of the internet was a turning point in Jack Ma's life, as he saw the potential to connect China to the rest of the world. Instead of letting rejections define his future, he began to develop a vision of how he could create opportunities, not only for himself, but also for thousands of others. His ability to see what many could not, and the courage to follow that vision, exemplify the importance of an abundance mindset. Jack Ma turned the frustration of rejection into motivation to shape his own destiny. Jack Ma saw an opportunity where others saw only a technological tool. He realized that the internet could be a powerful channel to connect China with the rest of the world and open doors to personal growth and self-improvement for thousands of small businesses. This insight shows how he was always ahead of his time, believing in a digital future when many still doubted the impact the internet would have. For him, it was clear. The internet was more than just an information network. It was a new economic ecosystem that would change the rules of the game. That pivotal moment in Seattle was the starting point for the creation of one of the biggest e-commerce empires, Alibaba. Identifying a gap in the market for information and opportunities for China, Jack Ma began his entrepreneurial journey with a clear purpose. He believed he could help small businesses connect globally, generating a true digital transformation. His vision was not only profitable, but also grounded in personal development, bringing with it a mindset of abundance and inclusion, focused on offering solutions that could positively impact as many people as possible. In the early days of Alibaba, Jack Ma worked with a very small team of just 18 people, most of them his former students. He always stressed that the company's initial success came not because they were the smartest or most experienced, but because they were united and optimistic. This group shared a common vision and a mindset of learning from mistakes, something Jack always considered a key differentiator. Mental resilience and the ability to constantly reinvent oneself were skills that everyone on the team developed as they faced challenges. More important than the size of the team was its cohesion and shared purpose. Jack Ma and his team believed they were building something much bigger than just a business. They were creating a platform for small businesses to connect globally. This vision, anchored in a spirit of collaboration and purpose, is what propelled Alibaba to success, proving that with the right mindset and self-discipline, even a small group can achieve extraordinary feats. When Alibaba was founded, the idea that e-commerce was the future was still viewed with skepticism by many. Most people believed that only large corporations could profit in the online environment. But Jack Ma thought differently. He and his team were convinced that small businesses could also benefit enormously from this digital revolution. This bold bet, anchored in an abundance mindset, is what has set Alibaba apart and allowed it to grow exponentially. Jack has always believed in the power of technology as an equalizer, capable of opening doors for small entrepreneurs. By betting on e-commerce, Jack Ma proved that, with self-awareness and long-term vision, it was possible to transform the global economic landscape. His unwavering belief in the potential of small businesses has had a huge impact, not just on Alibaba, but on the entire market. The success of the platform showed the world that the future of commerce was on the internet and that companies of any size could thrive in this new landscape, as long as they were willing to embrace innovation and change. Jack Ma always stressed the importance of building something that goes beyond yourself. He believed that true success lay not just in accumulating personal wealth, but in creating a lasting impact on the world. By founding Alibaba, Jack wasn't just creating an e-commerce company, he was paving the way for small businesses to thrive in a global market. This is a clear example of self-awareness and a long-term vision. When you work on something that transcends your own interests, you not only inspire others, but also ensure that your legacy has a positive impact on society. This thought connects directly to the importance of purpose. When you create something bigger than yourself, you begin to shape a future that benefits not only you, but also generations to come. Jack Ma knew that his work with Alibaba could open doors for thousands of entrepreneurs around the world, and this motivated him to keep expanding his vision. Creating something bigger than yourself involves self-discipline and goal-setting, but it also requires a mindset focused on helping others grow, 
because that's how you turn an idea into a global movement. Wait. Jack Ma never hid the fact that Alibaba's success was the result of the collective work of his team. From the company's earliest days, he firmly believed that valuing the people around him was the secret to sustainable growth. He always emphasized that his team were more than just employees. They were partners in building a common vision. This humanized approach is an excellent example of emotional intelligence. Jack Ma knew that a well-valued team is a motivated team, and this creates a cycle of continuous success. The importance of valuing your team is not just limited to recognizing the work done. Jack Ma also knew that investing in the personal development of his employees was essential to Alibaba's growth. He offered learning opportunities, encouraged innovation, and gave each person the autonomy to shine in their respective areas. This culture of mutual appreciation and growth is what allowed Alibaba to grow from a small startup to a global giant, proving that when you invest in people, results come naturally. Oh, wides. One of the most powerful lessons Jack Ma shares is the belief in the impossible. From the early days of Alibaba, many skeptics doubted the company's success. Most people believed that e-commerce was something unattainable for small businesses and that only large corporations could dominate this space. However, Jack maintained an unwavering faith that helping small businesses thrive in the digital world was a revolutionary idea. This bold vision of believing in the impossible is what set him apart as a leader and visionary. Believing in the impossible requires mental resilience and a willingness to face the unknown. Jack Ma and his team didn't allow the traditional mentality of the time to limit them. They knew that with hard work and innovation, they could turn the impossible into reality. This thinking also aligns with the importance of an abundance mindset. Believing that there are always opportunities to create and innovate, even when the landscape seems adverse, this optimism was the fuel that drove Alibaba to defy the odds and achieve global success. Jack Ma faced a number of challenges and failures throughout his career, but he always believed that persistence was the determining factor for success. Whether it was the multiple rejections he faced in his youth or the challenges of creating a company from scratch, Jack never gave up. He knew that the road to success wouldn't be easy, but he also understood that the real difference between those who achieve their goals and those who don't is the ability to keep trying, even when the going gets tough. Jack's persistence is a testament to the power of willpower development. Persistence doesn't just mean continuing to move forward, but learning and evolving with each failure. Jack Ma saw every obstacle as a learning opportunity, and it was this mindset that allowed him to transform Alibaba into an e-commerce giant. For him, persistence was a matter of self-discipline and motivation, and this attitude made all the difference in his journey. He proved that success is a long-term game and that with the right combination of patience and determination, anything is possible. Although Alibaba is now one of the largest technology companies in the world, Jack Ma has always valued the power of simplicity. For him, the most effective solutions were often the simplest. Instead of complicating his processes, Jack and his team focused on creating a platform that was easy to use and accessible to everyone. This reflects the importance of a success mindset where clarity and simplicity are the keys to solving complex problems efficiently. Simplicity also extends to the way Jack conducted his business. He believed that maintaining a simple approach was crucial for sustainable growth. Jack knew that by simplifying processes and focusing on the essentials, he could achieve more and offer a better experience for his customers. This vision also ties in with the concept of gratitude practices, valuing the simple and effective things in life rather than making them unnecessarily complicated. The power of simplicity is therefore a powerful tool for building something lasting and successful. If there's one thing that defines Jack Ma, it's his ability to dream big, even after achieving success. For him, stopping dreaming would be like stopping living. Alibaba was born out of a big dream, but what kept it growing over the years was Jack's continuous vision of always striving for something bigger. He firmly believed that no matter where you are in life, you should never stop dreaming. Dreaming keeps the mind active, creative, and always looking for new opportunities for personal growth. Jack also knew that dreams don't come true on their own. They require self-discipline, hard work, and persistence. His journey teaches us that dreams are the driving force behind the greatest achievements, and that there will always be something new to explore, new ideas to realize. Stopping dreaming means stagnating, and for Jack, Constant growth, both personal and professional, is the secret to a life full of meaning and purpose. So, 
however much circumstances change, never stop dreaming. Now that you've learned Jack Ma's most valuable lessons, I ask you, what are you going to do with this knowledge? Success is not just about what you know, but how you apply it to your life. Are you ready to turn challenges into opportunities? Are you prepared to persist in the face of failure and never stop dreaming like Jack did? Whenever you need motivation, go back and watch this video again. Jack Ma's words are a powerful reminder that the impossible only exists until someone has the courage to overcome it. And don't forget, the real journey to success starts now, with you. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to keep learning and share in the comments which lesson impacted you the most. And of course, be sure to watch our next video, How I Accepted Failure as Part of Success, Jack Ma, where you'll discover even more valuable insights for achieving your goals.